Welcome to our Connection Details video presented by Architectural Fabrication. In this video, we will present our most commonly used wall attachment methods. Let's start with a tilt wall connection. The purpose of this video is to show how specific fasteners are used to attach to their corresponding wall types and assumes correct measurements have been made and walls have been marked properly. This video is not meant for instruction on installing wall brackets. Here we are using 3 8 concrete anchors with washers and a 3 8 drill bit. Start by drilling the pilot holes. We recommend drilling these a little deeper than the length of the concrete anchor. Now simply insert the concrete anchors and secure. Next, let's look at a lag screw to wood blocking attachment. This project required the product to be surface mounted to EFIS and attached to wood blocking inside the wall. This requires the use of crush tubes to protect the EFIS from any damage when securing the fasteners. For this method, we are using 3 8 lag screws with washers, crush tubes, 3 8 drill bit, and a 7 8 drill bit. Again, start by drilling the pilot holes. A good way to get the measurement needed for the crush tube is to drill the pilot hole until you hit the blocking. Now you can mark the drill bit depth with a pencil or marker as shown here, or measure the dust on the drill bit. This will give you the length that the crush tubes need to be. Cut the crush tubes accordingly. Use the 7 8 drill bit to enlarge the pilot hole to make room for the crush tube. We recommend using sealant on every wall penetration. Once the crush tubes are cut, simply insert them in place and they are ready for the fasteners. This attachment method applies to other wall types like brick as well. Next, let's look at attaching to steel. Here, we are simply attaching a bracket to a steel structure in our shop. For this method, we are using a 3 8 thread cutting screw with washers and a size T drill bit. All we do here is drill the pilot holes and insert the fasteners. This method works with steel plates, angles, and tubes. Lastly, let's look at the through bolt method. This method is typically used on projects with CMU walls that are not filled. When CMU walls are filled with grout, a concrete anchor can be used. When drilling the holes, be sure to keep the drill square in all directions to the face of the block.
Here we are using all thread with washers and nuts. All thread tends to be a good choice as it can be easily cut to the required length. Once the holes are drilled, simply insert the all thread and fasten both sides. Occasionally the drilling process can blow out the back of the block and may require a unistrut or an oversized washer as shown here. This concludes our typical connection details video. Any custom connection details will be provided on a per project basis. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this, please visit our website at www.arch-fab.com.